Hi. Got a little bullnose plane to show you. Look at this. This little brass bullnose plane came my way a number of years ago. And the reason I liked it, well, didn't like that bit. But this JH here engraved on the side, I thought, wow, that's beautiful. And it is, and it's great, and it's been decoration for the last few years, and now it's time to let it go. And I thought, well, the custodians, you know, we don't own these things. This is three and three quarters long, or 96 mil if you measure like that. And it's brass. Or bronze, it, I don't know, it's quite heavy, it's heavier than I thought. Uh, inch and a quarter, just under inch and a quarter, measures just over 30 mil. Great little plane, I've just had a play with it to be honest. I've just been playing with it on here with it, do you want to see it? So let me just show you quickly, a rebate plane, this is a rebate, a rebate plane does that and this isn't set up very well. And the reason it's not set up very well is because I wanted to just come in here and just show what you can do with a bullnose plane. And, I, and I've just tapped the blade out a little bit more, just to get a bit more out of it. Actually, what I've done is I've, is I've finished it all. I've done it. Anyhow, I've done it. You should have been here earlier. Um, yeah, great for just tidying up little rebates and things. But what a cute little plane. And um, yeah, time to let it go. So if you're interested, this is rosewood by the looks of it. Don't know, it could be mahogany. It looks, it lo actually it looks more like, it, uh, looking at the colour, it could be rose, it could be mahogany. I don't know. It's got plenty of iron left on it. Um, but it was that engraving I fell in love with. And actually, when you really look at it, the engraving is pretty good. Let's just have a detailed look at this. <coughs> Excuse me. If you look at the way these are coming from here, look how equal distance they are from, from this V. That's pretty good. Look how they all end nicely in a line. And these end nicely in a flowing line almost bringing it round and down. It's it's very well done. These are good, consistent. The way it feathers off is nice. This little junction here is beautiful. I love this crisscross here. These feathers here, nice. And this was my side because obviously the J and then the H, which uses part of the J as the upright. And I just thought, oh, I love it. It's very good, it's very good. Anyhow, it's time to let it go. This side might be your cup of tea. It wasn't particularly mine, but again, it's the quality of the hatchings in here. The way it's hatched off has been um, very well done. So you can't knock it. It's a shame somebody felt the need to do this, but that could be got out if you wanted to. I didn't. That could be got out as well if you wanted to. That could be replaced if you wanted to with a bit of rosewood. You could polish it up and just take take some of this off, some of this um, patina off if you wanted to. I'm, you know, it's what you want to do with it. But I think it's a cracking little plane. It's brought so much pleasure just looking at it and enjoying it around the workshop. You can see it's been used. See these lines going across? So it's been used. Not often, but it's been used, and I think that's quite nice. I've not used it anywhere near as much as I wanted to, and I'd planned to, and I was going to do a video on it, which is what's happening now, but it's a video, and it's going to be for sale. But hey-ho, it's proof of where it's been. I've had it for about, we're 2023 20, now. I've probably had it since 2015, 16. And I have to say, if you want to support me, buy me a coffee is my preferred method of you supporting me. They take the smallest percentage. It just makes more sense to me. It should make more sense to you. Thanks for watching.
keep subscribing, keep following. Uh, it's it's going to be it's a journey. We're all on it. Thanks. Bye.